You guys, I finally bit the bullet and decided to go to Costco. I just pulled in, it's 1034. I wanted to be here at 10 since that's when they open, but you know, life and the parking lot is packed and I'm pretty sure I saw a line. So wish me luck. I got my mask. Um, Costco required them a long time ago. I think since the beginning of June, but now the county that we're in requires them anyway. So I'm going to head in. I'm a little bit nervous. I have not been to Costco since the end of February or beginning of March. So cross your fingers. I got a big long list. Um, and yeah, let's, we'll see how this goes. I'm not going to film while I'm in there since it's going to be crazy, but I will definitely show you guys what I get when I get back home. So see you guys. Hey guys. You can't really see very well. I've got a couple things on the floor there and on Cohen's booster seat. It was not too bad. Um, the line I actually saw was for the return. So there was no line to get in. It was not bad at first. And then towards the end, it started getting a little busier, obviously. Um, it's 1139 right now. Um, I grabbed some things for my mom, some things for us. Um, I spent, let's see, I spent $204.77 and my mom spent $125.84. Now they only got, did see how many items? 10 items. I got 28 items, but they got a little bit more expensive items like the salmon that they wanted was $30 alone and you know, things like that. Um, so I survived. I was excited because I have been having a hard time. If you guys watch my grocery hauls, you know, I've been having a hard time finding hand soap and I've been trying to order just like so soft soap refills from Costco, Sam's Club, all that stuff. And everyone is out of it. Well, they were fully stocked here with soap, with paper towels, toilet paper. Now I just ordered toilet paper online from Costco and it's supposed to be delivered today. Um, I think I paid like $27 for it and they have it in the store for $19.99 but I didn't know if I was gonna go to Costco or not or if they would have any. So I was good on all that. I didn't need paper towels or anything. I think I still have like three or four rolls left from um, when we bought the big thing at Sam's Club back in March. And that's even with giving my mom like three rolls. So um, I'm good on those. So I was excited. I got everything I wanted to get um, and then some. And I am going to head home and get all of this put away. My dad has an appointment, so I'll probably wait to take their stuff to them um, either later tonight or tomorrow. But when I get home, I'm gonna lay everything out and show you guys what I got and then what I grabbed for my parents as well, um, just since it was technically part of my haul. So, all right, it is hotter than Blue Blazes. It's, I think it says 103 right now and it's only 11.40, so yeah. It's supposed to be a high of 111 today and I am sweating, so I cannot wait to get home and cool down so i will be back shortly right, you guys i just got home and got everything brought inside chris and jackson helped me um please excuse the noise if you hear the kids obviously they're here and chris is back to working from home so if you hear like a work phone ring or anything like that that's what that is but this is everything we got today at costco with my parents stuff and mine the total came to like 330 dollars so that little area of countertop between the fridge and the stove is the stuff i got for my parents so i'm just going to go over everything that we got this is something new we've never tried before so if you guys have tried it let me know how you like it the kirkland sparkling water i was actually going to grab the sparkling ice because it was on sale for 7.99 and you got 18 of like the tall plastic bottles um and then i saw that costco had one for 7.99 and it was the same thing it was the tall plastic bottles and there was 24 of them and they were obviously cheaper and i was like oh i'll grab these well then i walked down a little further and saw they had 35 cans for $7.69 and I figured this would be a good treat. Um, I really like sparkling water. I asked Chris if he likes it and he's not sure he's ever had it before, but I know Jackson likes it and Aniston does as well. So I figured this would be a good little treat and the cans seem to be the perfect little size. So I love grapefruit. Um, not sure if the kids do, but I thought this would be a nice treat to have. I grabbed these Nature Valley um, biscuits with almond butter. They were on sale. I cannot remember how much for, but if you guys like peanut butter, they're really good. The texture and consistency of this almond butter is very similar to peanut butter. And these are almost more like a cookie with, you know, the peanut butter filling. So it's really good. The fruit snacks were also on sale. I want to say these were like $6.75 for 90 of them. We go through a lot of fruit snacks in this house thanks to Cohen. So I stocked up on those. I got four pounds of grapes and four pounds of kiwi. Um, I stocked up on a lot of fruit. I didn't need a whole lot of vegetables. I still have a lot of fresh veggies in the fridge, frozen and canned. So mainly I needed produce wise was fruit. Um, so I definitely stocked up on fruit. The grapes were on sale. Um, I can't remember, I wanna say around $4, maybe a little under. 
I grabbed the soft soap. I have not been able to really get much soap the last few grocery orders. If you guys watch my hauls, you have seen that this past week I was able to get one thing of soft soap and I used to buy the big refill jars like this all the time from Costco and I kind of quit. I don't know why, honestly. So I decided I'm just gonna start stocking up on this stuff again. We were down to just a couple bottles of hand soap left. So I bought this. You get two of these big refills. They are 80 ounces each and it was $6.99 for both of them. Um, Gain laundry detergent was on sale. So I grabbed one of those. I found this really cool collapsible laundry basket. I was going to order a laundry basket from Walmart a couple weeks ago because I just need another one. The two that I have are kind of old. One of them's cracked. Um, and I saw this randomly, it was the last one there. And I thought, this is a cool idea that you can collapse it. And it's kind of like a space saver. So I grabbed that, Cheez-Its, two bags come in this. So it's a ton of Cheez-Its. <laughs> um, bread, I'll probably freeze both of these loaves because I still have like half a loaf, I think, in the pantry. Cohen requested apples. That was the one thing he requested from Costco. So I bought a bag of apples. Um, he wants me to get some caramel sauce with my next grocery order so he can dip some apples in caramel. So definitely I'll have to remember to order that for him, but I got him the apples. Um, vitamins were also on sale, children's and adult, just the multivitamin, multivitamin gummies. So I grabbed some for all of us. We're really good about taking vitamins every single day. Um, I just obviously want us to stay as healthy as possible. So I got more vitamins. Um, this big, huge thing of spring salad mix is my favorite salad mix to get from Costco. Um, just if you're making like your own salads at home, um, it's a ton of salad and it's under $4 for organic salad. It's crazy cheap. These Aussie bites, which I've been told I say wrong. Um, I think they're supposed to be Aussie bites, but these are delicious. They are so, so good. And I like to put them in the freezer and eat them straight out of the freezer. They're really good just like this, you know, to keep them on the, on the counter or in the cupboard or whatever. They're kind of crumbly. So when you put them in the freezer, that helps them to be like less crumbly. And I don't know, for some reason, they're just so good frozen. My dad started me on that. And so if you buy these, try it, put some in the freezer and you will not be disappointed. I promise. Raspberries blueberries these were kind of expensive i think i paid i don't even want to know what i paid for these i want to say it was like nine or ten dollars i don't even know for two pounds of blueberries um but i did not want to have to make another trip to sprouts colon blueberries are his absolute favorite fruit and i eat them every day in my yogurt and i've been out for like probably close to four days now so I was like, I'm just gonna bite the bullet and pay the price. So I got this big thing of blueberries and then I also got two pounds of strawberries, some more lunch meat. I like to get this lunch meat because the slices are pretty thick of the lunch meat and you can separate these like so. And then I just freeze the other packages. So I'll leave one of these in the fridge and I'll put the other two in the freezer and they freeze really well. Coffee, haven't been you know in forever to Costco. So I had to stock up on coffee, you guys. If you've watched any of my previous Costco hauls, you know I love the coconut clusters. They are a great replacement for granola inside your like yogurt, how I eat my Greek yogurt. You can crush these up and just kind of use it instead of a granola. And they're also a really good snack. They are like, to me, it's like a sweet treat. So I totally feel like I'm cheating and eating something I really should not be, but these are delicious. My kids love them too. So I was super excited. I have not had those in forever you know me, you know I use a lot of garlic. So I had to get another big thing of garlic. Um, I got a rotisserie chicken for dinner tonight. Not sure what we're going to do with it. Probably steam some broccoli or maybe even some zucchini, I don't know. And something on the side, probably a salad. So I grabbed that. They had the men's champion boxer briefs on sale. So I grabbed these. I wanna say it was like $9.99 for five pairs, which is super cheap. Bananas, my kids love the Danimals. These were also on sale. Um, they love, love, love these. I'm kind of a stickler. I tried like, because if I don't put like a limit on how many things they can have, we go through it so fast. So I limit them each to one of these a day because otherwise this would be gone in like two days. Um, another thing that was on sale were these Honest Organic Kids juice boxes. There's 40 of them in here. And I don't think we've tried these before. I'm sure my kids will definitely correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought this would be a good thing to get just to have a little treat um, in the fridge. So we have our fridge out in the garage that we keep like drinks and like extra food in. So I'll put the sparkling water out there and then these juice boxes and the Danimals. Um, so hopefully they like them because there's 40 of them. You can hear Chris telling the kids to be quiet. Um, I got this lunch box. Okay, you guys. So this lunch box is going to be for a giveaway. Um, 
this is what I use for my kids. Every year they kind of change the style of it a little bit, but if you follow me on TikTok, my TikTok page blew up because I started doing school lunches and everyone wants to know where my kids' lunch boxes are from. So they are from Costco and they last for years and years and years. I only have to buy them new lunch boxes every like three years and they're just amazing. So anyways, they kind of change the style of them a little bit every year. So this looks a little different from what my kids have, but it's literally the exact same thing. It comes with two ice walls that you can just slide in these outside pockets so they never get dirty or anything like that. And then it comes with these Tupperware containers in it as well. Best lunch boxes ever. And I think these were on sale for $9.99. So if you have a Costco nearby, I highly, highly recommend these for kids for back to school. Um, this is all my parents' stuff over here. So my dad wanted these Healthy Choice Fudge Bars. Um, these were on sale, I believe, for $9.99, so I grabbed those for him. They are big salmon fans like Chris and I are, so I got them some of the Wild Alaskan Sockeye Salmon. Uh, one of the Street Taco Kits. If you guys have not had the Street Taco Kit from Costco, they are amazing, so delicious. You get 12 shells. There's enough stuff in here to make 12 tacos. It might not look like it, but there's actually, sorry, a lot of chicken in there so you literally just have to heat the chicken up and then like warm the shells up and you're good to go so we're going to do that for dinner one of these nights probably tomorrow um doritos for when my kids go over there this chinese style salad kit is amazing we have been eating these for years and years and years and i almost bought one for chris and myself because we love these but i decided not to i'm trying really hard to kind of get back on track so Anyways, um, all you have to do is add lettuce. So it comes with everything you need to make two salads and you can make like, they're huge salads. So if Chris and I were to make up one of these salad kits, we could each eat like a huge chicken salad because it comes with chicken, everything you need, like the dressing, the toppings, and you'd be stuffed. So this could make like, for Chris and I, this could make four meals. Like it's amazing, so good. Uh, my dad loves their biscotti, so I got him this as a treat. He, um, I asked him last night if he wanted it, and he was like, no, I shouldn't eat stuff like that. And then this morning he said, could you please pick me up some biscotti? So grabbed him the biscotti, more of the albacore tuna. My kids love these, so and so do we, my mom and I and Chris and everyone. They're delicious, but I think this is like $12. They were not on sale, but you get 52 individually wrapped snack like size pieces of cheese. So that's super cheap. That's a ton of cheese and like a healthy snack with protein the kids can eat. And then I got them some Hello Pandas to have at my parents' house. Um, I try to buy different snacks for their, like in my mom, when she shops, she tries to get different snacks than what we have at home. So they're not tired of it and like eating the same stuff there that they are here. And kind of like a little something that is a special treat. So I grabbed those and then more of their absolute favorite bread. This is my favorite bread too. If you guys have not tried it, I highly recommend it. Dave's Killer Bread. Um, so I grabbed them more of that. So this is everything we got at Costco. Um, definitely glad I went. It was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was starting to get a little crazy as I left. But um, it's good to know that they were really well stocked. They were not out of anything I needed. They had a lot of toilet paper, paper towels, soap, all that kind of stuff. So I ultimately walked away very happy with a very big bill, but in all honesty, I thought myself I would spend 300 so that I only spent 204. I left excited. So here is everything we got. And I'm assuming I'll probably go back in the next few weeks. Maybe I'll even try to push it out another month. I, when it's not coronavirus, I go every other week, sometimes every week. So. This has been a very, very long time coming for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this put away and then I will uh, let you guys know when I go back next time. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I know I already said goodbye, but I thought I would come back really quick and show you how I organize the snacks. I know a lot of people request that and I have not been doing that with my grocery hauls and stuff like that. So I don't have that much to organize. I'm just going to put away the Nature Valley, Nature Valley biscuits, the Cheez-Its, and then the fruit snacks I already have in the pantry. We have a bin full of fruit snacks and that one's already full, so I don't need to open that box yet. It's just kind of like our backup. Um, so just a couple things to show you. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with our channel, I like to take everything out of the packages and put them into bins. And just, I just think it looks better and it's easier to access and see what it is. So I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna leave this pointed down so you guys can kind of see how I do this. I like them just going all the same way and then it's kind of easy for the kids to just go in there and grab something. Um, when I'm done, I'll go through and kind of show you like our pantry really quick where all the snacks are. That way, if you are not familiar with our channel, 
in our new here, you can kind of see what the pantry looks like and how I have it all organized. So we're just gonna get all of these in here. And then that way the boxes are able to just go straight up to the recycling bin and it kind of just gives the pantry a cleaner, more organized look and feel. And I organized the pantry. I'll have to go back and find the video. It's on our YouTube. I organized it a while ago and surprisingly enough, it has stayed organized. So here are the bars. And then I am going to dump, this had pretzels in it. I didn't wash it out because it had pretzels and we're just gonna put some cheese in it, it's fine. It's fine. So we're gonna open one of the packages. And these are those OXO electric canisters. So one bag of cheese that fits perfectly in the tall one. I don't have to worry about the kids putting like a chip clip on it. They're not gonna go stale. So the other bag I take out and I will show you guys. Let me grab it. I have this big bin right here. So I have had people comment on TikTok before about how you have like no snacks in your pantry. Well, this huge bin sits up on the top shelf. You can't see what's inside of it. I have a huge bag, a party size bag of barbecue chips, a big bag of tortilla chips. There is um, some Ritz crackers. There is an unopened box of goldfish. There is an open, unopened box of graham crackers. And then there's two little bags of chips that have already been opened that have the chip clips on them. So this holds a lot of stuff. There's a lot of food in here. So I just take, extra bag of cheese bits and I just put it right in here and then that way when they finish the ones in the canister I can just refill it with what is left in there so that is what I do for for organizing so I'm going to go ahead and put these on the shelf and then I'll take you guys in the pantry and show you what it looks like really quick that way if you are new to our channel you can kind of just see what I'm talking about and why this crazy lady is taking everything out of boxes so one second so as you can see, if you're new here, like I said, there's all the spices and everything. I got some canned goods. I generally don't have a lot of canned goods. I'm gonna shut the door so it hopefully stays a little bit quieter. Just some extra bottles of water. Um, I kind of like everything to have its place. I'm obsessed with these OXO container or canisters. Um, I know Costco has them on sale right now. I did not look and see like the quantity or the price since I don't need any, but they are amazing. So. There's that big bin I was just showing you. That's where all the chips are, the goldfish, the extra Cheez-Its. I like that when I'm standing back here, you can't see anything really sticking out of it. Just the very top right there, you can kind of see part of one of the bags of chips, but it just keeps everything nice, neat, and clean. So that's where like all of our chips and like extra crackers and things like that are. Um, in these canisters, I have the Cheez-Its I just got at Costco. These are peanut butter filled pretzels from Trader Joe's. Goldfish, as you can see, one of my kids dropped that canister, it's cracked. Um, regular pretzels, we just have a little bit of these left. These used to be in the cheese at canister, but I moved them to this because there was just a few left. Um, this will generally have almonds in it. When I go to Sprouts and buy them in bulk or even like cupcake goldfish, something like that. Um, but usually I bought this specifically for like almonds and things like that. My granola goes in the granola canister. Um, that's two of my lovely subscribers on here sent me. I love it. It's probably honestly my favorite piece of Ray Dunn. So cute. Um, and then these have granola bars. So all of our other snacks are just in these bins. So this is where all the, the kids know that all the snacks are right here. So here's some granola bars. These are what I got from my Walmart grocery haul. So you can see, I just picked this up Monday. It is Thursday. There was 20 of them and that is what we are left with. Here are the ones I just organized, the um, Nature Valley biscuits. And then there's a few of these Austin peanut butter crackers in there. There is our fruit snack bin. I'm sorry, you guys, the lighting in here is terrible. Um, it still has quite a bit in there, so that's why I didn't open the excess fruit snacks, which they are down there. Um, and then this is like little mini bags of cookies. That's why I let my mom um, get the Hello Pandas for the kids because we kind of already have something similar, little bags of cookies. So they'll have that special treat over at my parents' house. So just a bunch of... It's stayed organized really well. I've honestly been impressed. The kids put everything back exactly where it goes. And I like that when you walk in straight back, they know this is all their snack stuff. Um, I kind of have all my baking stuff right there, spices, breakfast items, and then you go down to like pastas and rices and things like that. And then um, that's all instant oatmeal. This is like our excess overflow extras of things um, that we are not using yet. 
And then um, same over here, I've just got some extra flour and bags and things like that. So here is the pantry and that is how I organize all of their snacks. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick peek. Hope you guys have a great week and a good weekend. Bye.